Nandigram Violence, Wikipedia Article Audio The Nandigram Violence was an incident in Nandigram in the West Bengal state of India, in the aftermath of a failed project by the government of West Bengal under the erstwhile communist rule to acquire land for CES. Background The Events of March 14, 2007 Immediate Aftermath Reactions Judicial Response Location Shift November 2007 Violence 2008 Violence Electoral Aftermath Panchayat West Bengal Election The policy led to an insurgency in the region followed by the death of 14 people by the police forces. This incident played an important role in the politics of West Bengal for the next few years. Mamata Banerjee and her political party widely mentioned this issue along with the political war cry Ma Mati Manish in their election campaigns. Later the CBI gave a clean shit to the entire Bude Deb Bhattacharya government on Nandi Gram firing. The says controversy started when the government of West Bengal decided that the Salim Group of Indonesia would set up a chemical hub under the says policy at Nandi Gram. But farmers of the locality were adamant that they did not want to give up their land and agitated under the banner of Bhumi Raksha Committee which was baking up by Maoists. While the then governor was on air and no contact was available with him, the police entered the Nandi Gram area and violence erupted. The West Bengal government's plan was to expropriate 10,000 acres of land for a special economic zone to be developed by the Indonesian-based Salim Group for the industrialization. In the police shootings at least 14 villagers were killed and 70 more wounded. The Bumi Uchha Pratirod Committee an organization formed by the Maoists reacted antagonistically to the news. They blocked the roads leading to the Nandi Gram area and for a period of three months from January to March 2007. A number of furs were registered at Nandi Gram and Kurchuri police stations, relating to violence, arson, loot and murder, etc. But the cases registered could not be investigated by the local police as the local police were unable to enter into the villages during the standoff. Thousands of supporters of the left parties got attacked and were made refugees to be accommodated at shelter camps. Following the villagers' objection to and protest against the acquisition of land in Nandi Gram for the proposed chemical hub, the state government gave in to the demands of BUPC and finally announced the cancellation of the project in the first week of March. But the situation hardly showed any improvement. A team of policemen had been sent to dissuade people from digging up roads. One police officer, Sadhu Sharan Chaturji, aged 59, was killed while trying to repair a road dug up by protesters and 12 other policemen were very seriously injured. The administration was finally directed to break the Maoist-backed BUPC's control of Nandi Gram and a massive operation with at least 3,000 policemen was launched on March 14, 2007. However, prior information of the impending action somehow leaked out to the BUPC who amassed a crowd of roughly 5,000 villagers at the entry points into Nandi Gram to oppose the entry of police and assault them. In the resulting mayhem, at least 14 people were killed. The deaths in Nandi Gram have led to a great deal of controversy on the left in India. The federal police say they have recovered many bullets of a type not used by police but in widespread use in the underworld. Few journalists were able to access the area, with their access being restricted by check posts manned by CPI cotters, two belonging to a news channel were briefly abducted. 
Immediately following the March 14 killings, voluntary teams of doctors visited the Nandi Gram Health Center, the district hospital at Tomluk and later, the SSKM hospital and compiled a comprehensive report. Gopal Krishna Gandhi, the governor of West Bengal criticized the state government over its handling of the Nandi Gram incident, speaking of his cold horror in a press statement. Dr. Ashok Mitra, long-time finance minister of the government of West Bengal leader criticized the government and his party stating that till death he will remain guilty to his conscience if he keeps mum on the happenings in Nandi Gram. He states that the CPI leadership is blind of hubris and the party has turned into a wide open field of flatterers and court gestures dominated by anti-socials. An editorial in the Indian Express said that the party machinery has become the sword arm of an industrialization policy that involves settling complicated property rights issues. Some of the armed men who fired at the villagers, but were not part of the police, were later caught by security forces and found to be working for the CPI. Renowned novelist Sunil Gangopadhyay a friend of the Chief Minister Bude Deb Bhattacharji also felt that the industry is necessary but state violence was barbaric. Social activist Medha Patkar had visited Nandi Gram on December 7, 2006 to protest against land acquisition. Other renowned persons who joined protests against the project and the actions carried out on March 14, 2007 to implement it include Mog Saisai and Jainan Peeth award-winning author Maheswita Devi, Booker Prize winner Arundhati Roy, film director and actress Aparna Sen, theatre personalities Shayan Lee Mitra and Bibas Chakraborty, painter Suva Prasanna, songwriter and singer Kabir Suman and many others. The scale of the action left the state stunned. All India Trinamool Congress estimates put the toll at 50. The PWD Minister of the Government of West Bengal, Mr. K. Shati Goswami of the Revolutionary Socialist Party, a left-front constituent, said 50 bodies were taken to hospital, but it was impossible to ascertain how many were actually dead. In response to this, people singled out as CPI members and supporters and their families were driven out of the area by the locals and their houses burnt. A week after the March 14 clashes, the Hindu estimated that around 3,500 persons had been displaced into relief camps as a result of threats from BUPC. Accusations by Trinamool Congress that hundreds of people have been killed in the event were not confirmed by facts. Ex-Chief Minister Bude Deb Bhattacharji said that two of the supposed victims, as claimed by Trinamool Congress, were later found in a completely safe place elsewhere in West Bengal. The CPI adopted the public position that land acquisition will not be made without the consent of the people of Nandi Gram. The proposed says was ostensibly shelved following the March 14 police action. The local, district and state administration have however maintained that the chemical hub will take place at Nandi Gram itself. The CPI has accused the Jamie Raksha Committee a coalition of activists from various parties who oppose land acquisition of armed attacks on relief camps which led to three deaths as well as a series of murders and a gang rape. Amnesty International expressed serious concern that the government of West Bengal has not taken the necessary concrete steps to ensure that all persons under its jurisdiction are protected from forced eviction and displacement, and that all those forcibly displaced during the violence are ensured at the very least minimum essential levels of food, shelter, water and sanitation, health care and education as well as their right to voluntary return or resettlement, and reintegration. The High Court at Calcutta, when, on November 16, 2007, a division bench consisting of the Honorable Chief Justice S.S. S. Niger, 
and the Honorable Justice Pinaki Chandra Ghose, declared that the action of the police department to open fire at Nandi Gram on March 14, 2007 was wholly unconstitutional and cannot be justified under any provision of the law and further that the action of the police cannot be protected or justified on the ground of sovereign immunity and also that the action of the police cannot be justified even under the provisions of Criminal Procedure Code, the Police Act. 1861 for the Police Regulations, 1943. The Honorable Judges also ordered the State of West Bengal to pay to the victims of the deceased as a result of the undiscriminating police firing on March 14, 2007 immediate compensation in the sum of Rs.5 lakhs each and further that we further direct the State Government to pay immediate compensation to the persons who were injured and whose particulars have been given the pleading sum of Rs.0 not less than 1 lakh each and also we further direct the State Government government to pay compensation to the victims of rape who have been duly identified in the pleadings a sum of Rs.2 lakhs each. After the bloodshed at Nandi Gram, and the stiff resistance from opposition parties such as All India Trinamool Congress and Socialist Unity Centre of India and Left Front Partners such as Revolutionary Socialist Party and All India Forward Bloc over land acquisition. Chief Minister Budai Deb Bhattacharjee on September 3 expressed the government's preference for the sparsely populated island of Nyachar, 30 kilometers from Haldia, to set up the desired chemical hub. A fresh round of violence came up in November 2007, as the villagers who were thrown out of Nandi Gram by the BUPC returned home. The return of the villagers was marred by violence unleashed by the ruling party Cotters over the resisting BUPC Cotter in Nandi Gram. The party eulogized the operation with its state chairman describing it as a new dawn and the chief minister as paying them back in their own coin. The last comment was directed presumably primarily at the extreme left Maoist activists who, the CPI claims, were active at Nandi Gram and the situation was described as one of red terror. On November 12, 2007, National Human Rights Commission of India sent notice to Chief Secretary, West Bengal, directing him to submit a factual report within 10 days on the conditions prevailing in Nandi Gram and around after social activist Medha Patkar said that war-like situation prevailed in Nandi Gram due to continual presence of thousands of CPM cotters on all sides and accusations of police officers, present in the area supporting their program. Film director Aparna Sen and Ritu Pornogosh decided to boycott the film festival in Kolkata in protest against the renewed violence Aparna Sen said, Nandi Gram has become a slaughterhouse with blood being shed every day. CPM might be at the helm of affairs but the state still belongs to us. The Parliament of India decided to discuss Nandi Gram with urgency suspending the regular question hour sessions, on November 21, 2007 after two days of complete suspension of the proceedings owing to the heated debates between CPI and opposition party members in both the houses. CPI was alienated in the issue by all the other ruling United Progressive Alliance allies considering the fierce nationwide sentiments against the massacre. In May 2008, fresh violence broke out in Nandi Gram between supporters of the Bhumi Uchha Pratirod Committee, and the CPM activists. Both sides exchanged fire and hurled bombs at each other, with CPM getting the worst of it. On May 5, CPI mob striped three women activists of Bhumi Uchha Pratirod Committee when they refused to join a rally organized by CPI. Owing to wide political and civil protests on the incident the government of West Bengal ordered a CID probe into the incident. CPM leaders denied the allegations, 
claiming that it was part of a malicious campaign by political rivals intending to defame them. Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Priyaranjan Dasmunsi and a section of intellectuals including Aparna Sen from Kolkata, in separate press statements, demanded that Panchayat polls, due on May 11, in the areas falling within the jurisdiction of the Nandi Gram Thana be deferred, for, elections might not be peaceful and democratic. The electorate of Nandi Gram reacted against the left front government's policy of industrialization through farmland acquisition. For the first time since the left front government came to power, the opposition wrested control of the East Midnapore Zilla Parishad by winning 35 out of 53 seats on May 11, 2008. All India Trinamool Congress 35 Socialist Unity Center of India-1, Communist Party of India-14, Communist Party of India-2 and, Democratic Socialist Party-1. Parishad Seats The results of the election are In all four seats of Nandi Gram I and two blocks, which saw violence after protests against the government's bid for land acquisition for a chemical hub, the Trinamool candidates have won the polls by defeating the CPI candidates including a heavyweight leader. Sheikh Sufyan, a Bumi Uchha Pratirod committee leader backed by the Trinamool, defeated his rival CPI candidate Ashok Jana by a margin of over 13,000 votes while Pijush Baniya, Another Trinamool leader defeated Ashok Bera, a CPI Zonal Committee secretary by over 2,100 votes. In the West Bengal Legislative Assembly election, 2011 the incumbent Chief Minister Buday Deb Bhattacharji lost his seat and the left front lost power after 34 years. Mamata Banerjee and All Indian Trinamool Congress widely used these Singur and Nandi Gram issues and their political war cry Mahmati Manish in their political campaigns. Firaz Abibi of the All India Trinamool Congress won the Nandi Gram Assembly by election with a margin of 39,551 votes defeating the ruling front's candidate Paramananda Bharati.